Joe Riggers here, pointing for the W at home, talking about COVID-19 and how it has affected the education in our school and all around the world. As of right now, we will be taking education online until further notice. Parents, teachers, and students have complained about the online classes and find it very difficult. Teachers and students are having a hard time adjusting to their environment and having to do their studies at home. Doing their studies at home, they find it as a huge distraction and a lot of problems can come with it. Today I'll be interviewing two students, one in Westlake and one out of Westlake, and what their process is like going through the education during quarantine. Here I'm with Greg Cafaro on FaceTime. How are you, Greg? Not too bad, Joe. How are you? Pretty good, pretty good. Staying safe? Yeah. Good answer. All right, so uh, I got a couple questions for you about education. So one, what is the new process like of doing online learning? Do you like it? Do you hate it? What, what, what? Uh, I mean, I don't really like it because... um. I feel like we're getting we're doing more work than what we did during school. You know, I mean it's nice you know staying home instead of actually going to school, but still just the amount of work. It's a pain. And how do you feel as a senior to have to go through this? Because you know, like the fourth quarter we were supposed to be on internships, but now fourth quarter we are in school. So how do you feel about that? Um. Well, for me, I can say for myself that uh, I was I was passing but like barely. So if we were to go to internships in the fourth quarter, then I would just be clear and just, I would, I would have been graduated right there. But since we still have to do schoolwork, I'm still, you know, trying to maintain the passing average so I can graduate high school. Okay. Um, how do you feel about not having an interview, like uh, an interview and uh, an internship anymore? I mean, my internship is what I'm going to be doing right after high school. So I guess I would have rather done an internship so I can get used to, you know, the work field and everything. But I guess I'm going to have to just go right into to actually to working and actually getting paid. Um, and last question is, what do you think, like, the teachers, like, are feeling? Like, the bunch of teachers are saying that they had problems. There's not a lot of problems with it. Like, has there been teachers that gave you problems, anything like that? Obviously, don't name them, but... Um, no teachers have been giving me any problems. And uh, I'm sorry, you ask how the teachers are feeling about this? Yeah, like, how do you think they feel? Like, if you were a teacher, how would you feel about this? Well, I would absolutely love this, and I think the teachers love it as well. Because now, instead of them having to go to school and teach for the whole day, for what, like, five or six hours a day, now all they have to do is just make assignments and just send them out to us and maybe a couple Google meetings here and there, but they they have a lot less work to do. And some of these teachers, they live far from the school, so they don't, they don't even have to go to the school no more. They can just sit home and get the work done. All right. Uh, thank you. And this has been the W. Now I'm here with my sister, Brianna. And uh, she's going to college and was supposed to graduate this year, but due to the coronavirus, that might get canceled or whatever's going on. But she still has to figure out her school stuff and is still doing online learning. So I'm going to get her intake on what she thinks about it. First, where do you go to school? I go to Mercy College. Okay. And are you continuing with online learning? And if you do, what do you think about it? Do you hate it? Do you, would you rather be in school? I would definitely rather be in school. Right. Um so many reasons um first of all this is my last semester as a student in general like i'm never gonna have any other learning experience like i sat in a classroom for the last time and i didn't know that it was it my was last, your last time. time exactly um and i guess just because the whole learning dynamic kind of changed um i'm a graduate student so it's not that i'm just learning something like sitting in a classroom learning something it's that i'm learning what i'm going to be applying for the rest of my life and that's very hands-on. It's not so much textbook and lectures. It's more you have to like be face-to-face -face with somebody and get a learning experience. So I feel like we've kind of lost that whole experience. I don't know if you could do this, but if you had to put your feet in your teacher's 
shoes, Mm -hmm. how do you feel like what they're going through? Do you think it's hard for them or do you think it's easier for them? No, I think it's much harder for them. I have to say that I think teachers, I can speak for my teachers, but I do feel like a lot of teachers are handling this very well. Um, But no, I don't, I don't think it's easier for them at all. I think that if anything, they have had to change their entire curriculum and their whole dynamic. So it's going to be a lot, it's different for them. They're adjusting just like we are. And how do you feel about possibly graduation getting canceled for you? I talked to a senior about it and... My, so either way, I will graduate in May. Some people that I go to school with may have to do a couple extra things over the summer as far as for, in my program for us to graduate, you have to get uh, three, 300, no, I don't remember the number, 300 hours um, of therapy with a student. Some people that weren't able to do that. So some people are not able to graduate in May because of that. I thankfully will be able to graduate still in May, but gradu- the actual ceremony's already canceled. We're having a virtual graduation. Already? Mm-hmm. Right. Yep. This has been the W. Back to you in the studio. <laughs>